Hello guys and welcome back to another Yaya video. So recently I have been looking at different ways to do protective styling and I've just been trying to get a bit creative and kind of show my personality through the protective styles. Like protective styles do not have to be hairstyles you don't like. Natural hairstyles do not have to be hairstyles you don't like. Some may argue this is not a natural hairstyle but it still is incorporating your natural sort of vibe to your look, to your outfit. Honestly, you can work with your natural hair and you can kind of like create hairstyles that aren't going to damage your hair but still allow you to look your best. As I said, this hairstyle is not going to be for everyone. Some people may not like to attach any sort of fake hair to their hair but this is something that I am not going to lie, I am really, really enjoying. So today I have the Better Length Hair in 20 inches. It is its natural colour and it is in the texture 3B to 3C. Okay, pause. I would class myself as a 4A, 4B. Some, maybe some parts of my hair can be a 3C, just like one little section at the top. But the reason I got this sort of um, texture was just so that I could, you know, kind of do a few versatile looks. And I did have some looks in mind that I wanted to achieve. So Better Length, as I said before, has loads of different textures that you can choose from. It has anything from 4C all the way up to 3A, 3B. So you can choose whatever texture will match your hair the best if you're looking for extra length or like me, you're looking for a protective style. So the hair comes in 10 tracks and the 10 tracks is what's classed as one bundle. And one bundle is enough to fill a whole head of hair. I laid up the tracks and I only used five tracks, meaning that I had five tracks left over which means I could also do another set of hair with the tracks or the bundle that I have so you get a lot for your buck I'm going to have everything in the description box for you to see at the bottom and I'm also going to have a link and a discount code for you guys if you do want to purchase but enough of me talking guys let's get straight into the video okay so I've now basically taken out all of these clip-ins there are 10 separate clip-ins that this comes with and they are all different widths so they're for different parts of your hair if you've already watched my other better length clipping video you're going to see exactly how i styled that but this time round we are going for a ponytail okay so the main reason i got these clippings was so that i could do some protective styling but still look like i'm wearing my natural hair eventually i want to be able to dye these i want to be able to chop do you know what i mean i just want to be able to work around with hair that looks like my natural hair so i can see how they will look if i was to ever decide to do something more permanent to my hair my normal hair texture is a 4a 4b but i did get this in a 3b 3c mainly because of the look that i'm going to go for and i do believe i can still manage to blend these into my hair so i'm going to show you exactly how i do that so first things first you're going to want to make sure that your hair is moisturized Remember, this is a protective style, so we're not going to do anything that's going to cause our hair to be damaged or cause our hair to not retain any moisture whilst we are protecting it. So make sure that you are protecting your hair completely and that you have moisturised, sealed and made sure that it is not thirsty. So, for every sleek style that I try to go for, I always make sure that my hair is very saturated with water. This allows my hair to be at its flattest or its most moisturised. So I'm mainly focusing on the front of my hair at the moment where I'm looking to slick down. I am trying to be literally slick. So I'm then going in with my tangle teaser and getting out all my kinks. So next you're going to want to get something that's like an elastic and you're going to want to slick your hair down. So I already have a bit of eco styler in my hair, but I will be applying more. So that's probably why my hair will be slicking down quite neatly. So what I'm going to do now is grab this headband or extra large band that I had and I cut up into two. I'm going to put that behind my ears here, bring that forward to the top of my head. There we are and we are going to tie all the way down. Keep going. 
and adjust. You want it to be sleek, not tight, guys. As I said, this is a protective style. So if there's at any point you feel like your hair is being pulled too much, you're going to want to just release it. Take down this little thing if you have to, just to make sure it's sleek but not tight. We're not pulling these edges out prematurely, guys. No way. And then I'm going to go in with my Eco Styler Gel. I've got nails on, guys, so <laughs> this is literally how I do my thing. And I'm going to put this all the way through, like so. This actually just reminds me of the time when I was at uni and I used to always try and slick my hair and my housemates used to have really, really nice slick hair and I'd ask them what they used and they used Eco Salad just like me. I was just like, Eco Salad doesn't work for me. You know, it doesn't slick my hair down. And then they were like, like, okay, fine, show us what you do. And I took like, it's a little bit here, I was like, and they're like, is that all the Eco Salad that you do? So from that day on, I increased how much Eco Salad I put in my hair and I've never looked back. It may seem like a lot, but it gets the job done. I'm just heavy handed with every product that I use, you know? Okay, so next, what you're going to want to do is braid this hair. So when I get down to the end, sometimes I like to just twist, only because it gets it done quicker and it's easier to take out later on. So, I have now got my ponytail slicked at the back. I'm now going to do my edges. So I'm just going to take my little edges brush that I like to keep handy. It's got a little lid and it's portable. So my favorite thing to use. And I am going to just slick my edges. Then I like to go in my gummy wax. You guys are not surprised if you've been here a while. And I'm just going to secure my edges with this as well as a little bit for the rest of my hair. So this is just gonna make sure that my hair looks slick. As in like, guys, look at the shine. It does the job, like it just finishes it off and I know it's not moving anywhere. So now I'm just gonna tie my headscarf before I move on to the next section. Okay, so now that my hair is slicked over here and it's been doing that for a while, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how I revive the curls to stop the frizziness and bring it down just a little bit. So, here's one I did earlier. So this comes, as I said before, in 10 different tracks, but one bundle is enough for a full head of hair. And for the style that I'm doing, I'm not going to be needing one bundle. So I've gone in with the Hairfinity Leave-In Conditioner. You can use any leave-in conditioner, if I'm honest. This is ooh, the first one that I managed to get my hands on. So I'm just gonna put that all the way through. As you can see, the curls are still very uniform and bit spaghetti-like, um, I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best to get to mimic a proper, like natural hair kind of type. So next I'm using the Curls & Co. Silk Clean Curl Cream, guys. You know how I like my scents, but I don't like overpowering scents. I like natural scents, but this smells like toffee. Guys, it's so nice, and I'm not gonna lie, it is good. It's one of my favorite smelling hair products of all time. Like, I'll actually say that, I believe so. Again, not sponsored. <laughs> so I've managed to get that all the way through. I'm gonna give it a bit of more love and care to these ends, because I know how they can frizz up on you. Next, I'm going to get just a normal brush and I'm going to brush it through to get it to look more like a natural hair texture. So as you can see here, it looks a little bit more natural. Now this has been setting, we're going to take that off. And what I'm going to do first is unclip this and I'm going to place it at the bottom of my hair. And I am just going to do like so and continue to wrap my hair oh my gosh guys this is gonna be such a long ponytail like even now this is a vibe i'm so excited so i'm just gonna do the exact same thing again this time i'm gonna pin it on its side and then wrap again guys <laughs> you don't understand it no. this is mad as i said even this like guys it's a vibe like look if i just even if i wanted to stop here 
Okay, and just wrap this around. <gasps> Guys, I feel like this is two in one. Yeah, it is. Okay. Guys, look at this hairstyle. Like, I just don't think you can actually, you know, understand it. Let me stand up. Look at this. Guys, I'm a sucker for like inches. Like, I like my hair to look super long. Oh my gosh. I am very excited by this. And you don't need to go and get yourself no 30 inches. Like, you don't need 30, you need 20. Look at how long this is. I put it to my back. It's like a half braid. <laughs> yeah, nah, this is getting worn. Are you all right? Yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've done impromptu hairstyle number one, I actually love by the way, um, we're going to finish off and do the full ponytail. So again, I have used some leave-in conditioner in here, I sprayed it with some water, I then went on to use the Curls & Co curling cream and I actually added their gel as well just to keep it a bit more uniform and to stop the frizz. So we're going to continue our way up until we get to the base. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that we've reached the top, I'm gonna to stand up. It is, there's one piece of hair that is just way, way too long. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to where we started and I'm gonna get rid of that track. There we go. So now I've taken out this track at the bottom, it is sitting much better. And guys, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving it. But we're gonna finish off the hairstyle, of course. So we can't leave the base as it is. No, that's no go. And I still have a piece of hair over here that I want to cover. So I'm going to go in with one of the smaller pieces over here. Again, just spray that down. There we are, I'm just going to place this in that section. Okay, so you're going to want to get it as close to the base as possible, as I've tried to do over here. And then you're going to want to get a piece of hair. So I'm just going to get this piece here that is just sticking out. And get a piece of hair and just wrap around the base. There we go. So you can hold that in place with a bobby pin, you can use some hairspray if you wish and just basically get the tracks completely covered at the top. So I'm just gonna go and stand up for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm just loving. I can't wait till my actual hair gets to this length. I can just do stuff like this. If I wanted to blend it in with my hair texture, you can see that I could. If you look at my previous video using these clippings over here, these clippings you can get in any hair texture. So I think the loosest they do is 3A, 3B, and the tightest they do is 4C, so you can blend with any texture that you have. Like there is a style or a pattern for you if you did wanna get the extra length, or as I do at the moment, just want to get a protective style. At the moment, my ends are completely cocooned and completely covered. It's literally amazing. <laughs> and you cannot see the braid, it's undetectable. So if I put it behind, my hair still flips, like it still flips. There's no issues at all. I'm actually really, really liking this guys. If you would like to purchase this hair, or you know, even have a look at what other textures that they have, do click down below in the description box and use my code ya784 if you'd like to get some money off. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope to catch you guys in another video. Let me know if you've tried this hair before, if you've tried anything similar, um, if you're liking the look, if you're liking these new sort of protective styles that I'm trying to do. Like, as I said, I just want to try loads of protective styles that are going to just make sure that my hair is just looking cute but at the same time very protected but thank you so so much for watching guys comment down below if you like it and just let me know what else you want to see from me guys but anyway thank you so so much for watching and i hope to catch you in another one ciao